So hello guys. Uh, today I wanted to demonstrate a project I've been working on. Uh, what it is, is it's a remote desktop client for the Macintosh Plus. So the Macintosh Plus is a vintage computer uh, from 1986. And I wanted to see if I could uh, come up with a VNC server, which is a remote frame buffer protocol that would actually run on the Macintosh Plus. Uh, so I did research on, on the VNC protocol and about last year um, I started working on this. Uh, there was a lot of challenges but I actually got it to the point where it's somewhat usable and that's what I would like to demonstrate today. So right here on um, on the left side, I have a Windows PC that's connected to the wireless network. Uh, the Macintosh itself is running um, an unmodified system uh, with the Mac TCP control panel. Uh, for the, the Ethernet bridge, I'm using a ROS SCSI device. Now, if you're not familiar with the ROS SCSI, it is an open source hardware project. Uh, that basically allows you to not only uh, emulate um, hard disks, but also allows you to en emulate uh, this Dana port SCSI Link T, which is basically an Ethernet adapter that came out for, uh, for the Macintosh that would allow it to uh, connect to the internet using the SCSI port, which is something that uh, the Macintosh Plus does have. So by using the ROS SCSI device, uh, which is basically a Raspberry Pi uh, acting as a SCSI interface, uh, running the Dynaport emulation uh, for the Ethernet, with those two things, I was able to uh, get my uh, VNC server to run. Uh, there was actually a lot of challenges as far as getting this to a somewhat usable state. I mean, it's not 100% stable, and it's also pretty slow, as you can see. But I do find, find it to be impressive that it, I guess it works at all. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's usable at this point. Uh, it does crash occasionally. It does freeze up the system. But as a proof, proof, proof of concept, um, it, it seems to get the job done. So, so if you like this project uh, and you want to learn more about it, uh, click the button on the lower right and subscribe because I'm, I'm planning to maybe post more videos where I describe exactly how I implemented this. Uh, there were several challenges um, I had to uh, find out how to encode the data in a way that was compatible with uh, modern VNC servers or modern VNC clients. Um, there was also a lot of challenges as far as implementing mouse control and all, all that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I came up with and I'm glad I could share this with you. So let me know what you think in the comments.